I have some good news for you guys. The affinity programs are now completely free. Yes. Let's say you don't know what affinity programs are. You probably know about the Photoshop. Okay, it is the most popular piece of software out there. So if you're looking for a Photoshop alternative, you know, it's quite expensive. It's a subscription based software. So if you're looking for a professional Photoshop alternative software, then yeah, the affinity photo is the one previously you had to buy it. Uh, it there was a one time purchase, but now Canva, this is also a really popular service out there. Maybe you already know about this. They bought the affinity last year and now they have made all the affinity softwares free. Now we actually have a completely free professional level Photoshop alternative. So let's actually download this. So this is the official website. You have to create an account. Okay. And you can see affinity by Canva all. Yeah. Yeah. They combined all the apps in one app. <laughs> okay. All in one creative app, zero dollar free. Trust me, this is actually a big news for many people out there. Now, I know there is a free and open source alternatives to Photoshop like uh, GIMP, one of the most popular free and open source alternative. But now this is probably going to be way, way better than the GIMP. Yeah, it's not going to be open source, but it is completely free. So let me sign up and download this. So you can download this for Mac OS, Windows and also for iPad, which is coming soon. So I'm on Windows. So let's download the Windows. So there are different. Oh, this is also available for ARM devices, the new Copilot Plus PCs. This is actually new to me. I have used this before, but I, I've only used the Affinity Photo. Now everything is in one place. Vector here, you do the designs, you know, logos and all that, or maybe art, something. Pixel is the photo editing thingy. Layout, I think it's designer. And there is a new page, Canva AI. So here, I think it's gonna be generative AI. You can generate images and all that. I think this is going to be premium uh, feature that you have to pay. Rest, the software itself, like photo editing and everything is completely free, including the designer and vector. Okay. So let's actually create a new image. Let's do 1280 by 720. That's for the YouTube thumbnail. Yeah. Look at that. Now, uh, let's add some random image in here. So this is basically like the Photoshop. Okay. Again, as I said, if you're looking for a professional level Photoshop alternative, this is the one. Okay. And now it's completely free. <laughs> so let's do some things that we do on the Photoshop layer effects. I think this is what it is. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the workflow is a little bit different, but you can do everything what you can do on Photoshop. So let's say shadow. Let's add that. Um, let's not multiply. Let's do normal and we should be able to see our shadow. Yeah. Let's make it bigger so you guys can actually see it so you can see. And let's do outer glow. Uh, let's do normal. Maybe we do red and let's increase the radius. So there is the outer glow. We can apply the gradient, a color overlay, inner glow. All the things that you find on Photoshop are here. Basically, we have all the tools here. Okay. Uh, just like in Photoshop, move tool, crop tool, object selection. Can you, really, you can do the object selection now. Let me, let me find some image here. Okay. Let's try this here. Object selection, machine learning. Okay. So settings, I think I need to do something here and there are some features. Uh, the AI features that are premium. I think the segmentation thingy is free. And for some reason it's using the CPU, not GPU to enable other uh, like options, the AI options like super resolution, colorization, depth estimation. We need the premium uh, subscription of Canva. Yeah, we need the Canva pro. Uh, any plan of Canva. Okay, let's let's try selecting this. I think it's pretty slow. 
maybe it's using my uh, CPU. Oh, oh yeah, it worked now. It worked. Okay, it works. It works. This is actually huge. Okay, now I can select this. Yeah, look at that. Can I do Control J? Okay, it worked. It worked. Okay, it worked. You can see here. Yeah, that's. This is actually pretty cool yeah this feels a little bit slow actually not gonna lie the machine learning thingy uh, i don't know what it uses so i'm gonna use another uh, image so i know what it uses the cpu or gpu yeah it's using the cpu and you can see it's using the cpu by default for the machine learning so this tool is the machine learning tool okay it runs locally but for some reason, Canva decided to use a CPU instead of GPU. If it uses GPU, it will be instant and a lot faster and a lot more accurate. I'm hoping that they will fix this. They need to change the interface to GPU. Selecting objects, subjects, using this is actually really easy. Only if it works, <laughs> okay? It works in here, just like in Photoshop, but it's slow really slow because it uses the cpu oh we can use the flood selection and this also works pretty well this is like the magic wand tool we have rectangular tool we have what is this fill tool what is the text tool i want to add some texts here let's see how it works and we can go and change the font oh i think we need to select all of it and then change the font just like that and yeah look at that and we can select that we can go to effects here and we can apply the outer shadow and uh, increase the shadow let's apply the outer glow let's make it reddish why not purple will also do you got the idea i know you guys are smart yeah this is actually a really really good alternative to photoshop if you want to use the canva ai the, the generative ai you want to generate images and all that you need to get the subscription the software itself is now completely free okay if you want to use the ai features yeah only then you need to get a subscription this is actually huge in my opinion okay now i know again there is a pretty good alternative to photoshop called gimp free and open source that thing is pretty good but still it's not as good as photoshop or anything like that i know some people out there use it but if you want a bit more professional level software this one is actually better than gimp it works almost same as photoshop and it has almost all the features of photoshop and uh, it's easy to use compared to GIMP. I've tried GIMP and I get lost so easily when I'm trying to do something in GIMP. You have to learn everything from the start. But this one, if you have ever used a Photoshop, you can pretty easily use most of the features in here and create something in here. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.